determining the correct dimensions of a firewall is pretty straightforward as long as you know the requirements from the code you're referring to. We've prepared a word problem that we will solve from determining the given, creating illustrations, and computing the unknown. In this video, we will cover a word problem, illustrations, computations, and considerations you should always keep in mind when designing a firewall. Here is the word problem we prepared for you. An architect is assigned to design a duplex on a 26 meters depth by 40 meters frontage lot. The clients want a garden on all four sides of the lot, allowing the designer to use 6 meters front setback and 4 meters on the rest of the sides. The architect maximized the second floor by using the allowable maximum building footprint created by establishing the given setbacks and suppose the architect is going to use eaves with a uniform depth of 1 meter, determine the following. A. The full length of the firewall from the eaves. B. The full length of the firewall from the second floor walls. We only need to do three simple steps to solve this problem. We should first identify the necessary information given in the problem and list them down. Second, we should visualize the problem by creating illustrations to have a better understanding. Lastly, we will use the given information and the illustration we've made to crack the problem and find the answers. Let's go back to the problem and highlight the essential data that we can use. Now we can visualize the problem into a two-dimensional drawing. After establishing the constraints, we are left with an allowable building footprint with 16 meters depth and 32 meters width. Let's put a centerline in the center that divides the lot into two equal parts. As we've read on the problem, we need to establish eaves with one meter depth on all four sides of the building. Eaves will affect the dimensions of the firewall, so make sure you consider this idea. Determining the firewall dimensions is easy and straightforward as long as you know the requirements set by the code. For this exam, let's consider the following criteria. It should have an offset of 0.40 meters from the surface of the roof. A 0.60 meters offset is needed on both the wall's surface and the tip of the eaves. Another offset of 0.30 meters is needed from the bottom part of the eaves downward. Let's picture these requirements based on the given information on the problem. This is a section view of the house the architect is designing. This section is not to scale. As we know from the problem, the architect used all the allowable buildable area on the second floor. However, there is no information given about the ground floor, so that we will leave it as variable x. We will now apply the firewall requirements into this section, and the rest of the computation is straightforward. As you can recall, we have a lot width of 26 meters, and after putting the setback, we're left with a 16 meters width. Now we can add the offsets we've established from the walls and eaves to get the unknowns. For the first questions, we have to add the 1 meter eave and the 0.60 meter firewall requirement offsets on both sides to the width of the second floor. Now we know that the longest length of firewall is 19.2 meters. For the second question, we have to add the 0.60 meter firewall requirement offsets on both sides to the width of the second floor. Now we know that the longest length of firewall is 17.2 meters. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Hello everyone. Here are the things you need to keep in mind when designing a firewall. A firewall is designed to resist the damages caused by fire and protect the building's occupants. Putting setback is ideal for repair work, painting, and maintenance. 0.60 meters will be sufficient for this. Since it must withstand fire, having a 4-hour fire resistive rating is ideal. If the height of the firewall is above 3 meters high, located in a tropical country, and faces either south or southwest direction, it will be prone to long periods of rain that can be damaging. Adding a gutter can be beneficial for this case. 
The firewall must have structural stability and the layers and reinforcements must meet the standards. Any opening or protrusions are not allowed in a firewall like windows. Windows are allowed in front of a firewall to optimize passive lighting as long as there's at least 2 meters of minimum clearance from the surface of the firewall. Any existing holes or opening must be closed by covering or sealing. Lastly, when you encounter two or more provisions from a single or several codes, as a rule of thumb, always follow the one with stricter and safer requirements. We will create more videos soon about solving design and planning word problems. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to be updated to our future lessons. Please see the description provided below this video and support us on our other social media accounts such as Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram because we're sharing content there too that aren't available here on YouTube. Thanks and I'll see you later.